In this episode, we learn how to overcome self-doubt and how God gives us assurance. Hi, I'm Glennis Baptiste. Pursue is a podcast meant to ignite within you a passionate commitment to pursue intimacy with God. It provides encouragement to live in grace and truth to embrace how God sees you. This is our journey together to experience transformation. Last week, we learned in Gideon's story that God called him by his true identity, a mighty hero, and God chose him as captain of a rescue mission. But he disqualified himself even when God told him that his presence would be with him and that he would be victorious in the battle against the Midianite army. Gideon was not yet convinced. In Judges chapter 6, the Bible says that he had asked God three times to prove to him that he was the right man for the job, and God showed up to give him confirmation with each request. In verses 25 to 27, God gave Gideon an instruction to destroy the altar of Asherah the idol god and build him an altar unto him instead. Verse 27 says, So Gideon took ten of his servants and did as the Lord had commanded. But he did it at night because he was afraid of the other members of his father's household and the people of the town. He knew what would happen if they found out who had done it. There was a shift that took place in Gideon's mind on what God had instructed. He had to first believe that God was with him even though he was afraid. He showed courage. Verses 33 to 34 says, Soon after the armies of Midian, Amalek, and the people of the east formed an alliance against Israel and crossed the Jordan, camping in the valley of Jezreel. The Spirit of the Lord took possession of Gideon. He blew a ram's horn as a call to arms, and the men of the clan of Abiezer came to him. When the Midianite army came into position, the Spirit of God showed up to help Gideon gather an army to fight. This was proof that God was with him. But Gideon was still struggling with self-doubt. What's distinctive in this story is that he kept moving forward regardless of his struggle. He was willing to step out and find out, even if that meant asking God to confirm that he was the right man for the job. There's nothing wrong in asking God to reveal that you're the right person for the assignment. Is what God wants to do is your trust in him, your reliance on him to help you do exactly what he's told you. Assurance comes with every step you take in the direction of God's instruction. Psalm chapter 37 verse 23 to 24 in the New Living Translation says, The steps of the godly are directed by the Lord. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will not fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. The foundation of our confidence is what God says about us. When we don't trust him, we become self-reliant leading toward our own opinions instead of becoming God dependent. In Judges chapter 7 verses 5 to 7, God taught Gideon how to choose the right men for the rescue mission. Men who were sharp and vigilant. When Gideon took his warriors down to the water, the Lord told him, divide the men into two groups. In one group, put all those who cup water in their hands and lap it up with their tongues like dogs. In the other group, put all those who kneel down and drink with their mouths in the stream. Only 300 of the men drank from their hands. All the others got down on their knees and drank with their mouths in the stream. The Lord told Gideon, with these 300 men, I will rescue you and give you victory over the Midianites. Send all the others home. The men dismissed were not suitable for the mission because they never postured themselves to be on the lookout for the enemy, even while quenching their thirst. But those chosen had a different posture. They made sure to remain undistracted and kept their eyes in full view of their surroundings in the event of a sudden ambush by the Midianites. Gideon felt ill-equipped for this rescue mission. But God made sure to equip him with strategy and wisdom. God revealed his divine strategy of victory. 300 men against 135,000 Midianite soldiers. God has a strategy and wisdom for your rescue mission. Verses 9 to 11 says, During the night, the Lord said, Get up, go down into the Midianite camp, for I have given you the victory over them. But if you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Pura. Listen to what the Midianites are saying, and you will be greatly encouraged. Then you will be eager to attack. Gideon followed God's instruction and heard a conversation from one of the Midianites who had had a dream about him winning the battle. Verse 15 says, when Gideon heard the dream and its interpretation, he thanked God. 
and mobilized his army of 300 to engage the enemy. Verse 22 says, When the 300 Israelites blew their horns, the Lord caused the warriors in the camp to fight against each other with their swords. God did exactly what he said he'd do, give Gideon the victory. Even though Gideon was struggling with doubt and fear and may have felt like a fish out of water, he was willing to follow through at every point leading up to his victory. That's faith in action. Fear does not mean that grace will not show up. Grace is more powerful than fear. Grace meets us where we are to transform us into more than what we've known ourselves to be. There was a mindset shift in Gideon to believe in what God had said about him when he saw that God was really with him. In this story, grace was God showing up at every point to walk Gideon through to victory. The same is true for you in your story. So where in your life have you doubted who God has called you to be and the assignment or calling he's given you? Where in your life have you disqualified yourself, thinking that it should be someone else instead of you? Here's how to overcome self doubt and no confidence. Number one, renew your mind with God's word. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 in the New Living Translation says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect his will really is. Make his word your source and resource for right thinking. Number two, replace all thoughts with new ones. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 in the New Living Translation says, fix your thoughts on what is true and and honorable and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So what is true about you? What has God said to you about you? Think and ponder on that. Number three, repeat consistently. James chapter 1 verses 22 to 24 in the Message Bible says, don't fool yourself into thinking that you are a listener when you are anything but. Letting the word go in one ear and out the other. Act on what you hear. Those who hear and don't act are like those who glance in the mirror and walk away and two minutes later have no idea who they are what they look like so believe what god says about you and repeat it consistently until you experience transformation in the same way that the holy spirit helped gideon he is your helper too rely on him to be confident in who god has called you to be and live in the fullness of what grace provides stay tuned for next week's episode